we gotta change this song. Sick of it? I think so. I feel that. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Life of the Lost. Um, I'm Sam. And I'm Megan. Remember and that one time when you were talking about, like, you want to do a different intro? Like, it's me. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> your boy. It's your I boy. I, I can't, I can't phasing out of that. Oh, man, you're getting mature. Me. It's me. Yeah. Because I don't know. It's It only comes up when it's like a goofy time, you know? I can't just randomly say it, you feel. I can't, For some weird reason, the way I say it is, um, I forgot. Like it's I, me, your boy. No, it's it's like that, but it's not like that. Oh, <sighs> something like that. You're something close to that, yeah, but. In a male's voice. Yeah, I'm trying to. Anyways. Sorry, we digress. But if you're new here, like Sam said. I'm Megan, he's Sam, and we're two Peruvian adoptees who live in New York City and kind of just talk about life. Yeah. What's going on this week? Do we have anything big in plan this week? Not really, do we? Um, no, I, I mean, I obviously like do a lot of work and mm. really get onto the consistency of scheduling. Yeah, but um, we've been good three weeks in of this yeah. new schedule yeah I, th- I definitely am really happy with what we've been able to like sustain yeah um but other than that i kind of want to f- finish the, the race by wolves yeah that's definitely like a cool show it is a really cool show um side note our little puppy oreo is under the table we're using right now to record and he is snoring he ate a swell today. We actually tried a new diet for him. It's called the farmer's dog. Yeah, the farmer's dog. And what what's in that? Um, so he has he tried chicken, the chicken kind. He didn't like it. He likes beef and he likes the turkey kind. But is it like just it's chicken? It's real meat. Yeah, is and there, vegetables and greens. Yeah, because like I, I'm I'm always like I see chunks of like green mm-hmm. and like carrots. carrots. Yeah, but like I never like knew. I guess. The specific ingredients. Yeah. I mean, I there, there's a lot, but it, it's really good. And it makes you really happy because his coat's a lot better. His yeah. allergies are completely gone. He was getting ear infections constantly. That's gone. Um, you know me. I'm a little weird. Like, I pay, pay attention to his poop and stuff because I'm just like, oh, yeah. I <laughs> he can't talk that's... to me. So, like, I don't know what's happening. No, so... like, that's, like, so important to, like, do for your pet. But yeah. I, I can't, like, the thought of it for me, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I just When I pick it up, I'm just, like, making sure, like, yeah, one time he had eight in, like, this big, oh huge string. God. And I was like, oh, my God. I thought it was blood because it was a red string. I was like, this is horrific. Yeah, like, when I <laughs> when he was on the couch, on the bed, and, and I seen a hair in his butt, I was like, nope. I was like, Megan. Like you, you need to see <laughs> that. Handle this. And yeah, <laughs> I'm like it's disgusting. It's not like I want to do it, but I feel like I have no choice because you're kind of like I'm but not I, I doing it. Like, I'm not touching like, anything I, like, around there. No, for me, like if it, if you weren't there, like I would just leave it and just <laughs> until he just. I mean, like, he would have been fine. He would have passed it. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Yeah, like, I'm, I can't like. It's like either way you could choose, but for me, I just. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. But that's a really nice. It's it's a bit expensive. It's about. Uh, the new diet is about six dollars a day, but I feel like it's completely worth it. Six dollars, yeah. I mean, I think that is. If I mean, it's a member of your family, you know. Yeah. Think about like how much you eat a day and like how much that kind of costs you. And I've been thinking about that actually a lot because I'm like, okay, in the mornings I have two to three carrots and I have an apple, and this is just all going into a juice. You know, and for some reason the other day I was thinking about like when you break it up and you look at these like ingredients and how much the proportions cost of each, you know, what that might be. Yeah. Just a curious thing compared to like if you were to go and buy a juice. Yeah, because I I was thinking, right, like how because I'm thinking like what's the main like, okay, so I'm thinking how much is is um uh. Sorry, my mind's blank for a second. Because <laughs> you just made a funny noise. That was me? <laughs> Oreo. 
Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, because I was thinking how much fruit doesn't really cost that much. And, like, vegetables don't really cost that much. But the only hassle with that for me, I think, is is preserving it mm-hmm. and, like, using it. Using it, it like, when you have and it. And then before you know it's gone. So I'm just like, it's exp- mm-hmm. it can be expensive that way. But Yeah. But if you're if you're but like not, staying though. true to your stuff, like I think I have um an eight pound bag of carrots that I go through almost no, but every yeah, week and a half. Because that's what I was thinking, like then you have to understand what you eat. Yeah. Because I was thinking like places like um Juice Generation or mm. like you know, like how are they able to keep their sustain it? Their yeah, their ve- vegetables and, and fruit always like pretty a good. Freezer, maybe? No, you know but, when you walk into there, but you it's can't like just really freeze fresh, have... fresh bananas. True. Like it just won't look, it won't taste good. They like, always have a giant mount of like fruit and veggies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they must have it synced. Yeah. Like, so they've had it, but damn it, how is that possible? Like you'd really need to. You'd really need to know the demographic of your Jeez. neighborhood and like thinking of things like that. Food industry must be really hard. They to deal adjust with. probably like every week oh yeah right? Cause probably because like, what cause happens like if to the seasons too like nobody really wants well for me i don't really want like a acai bowl oh yeah in the winter it's Damn. not my favorite then, then as a restaurant you'd be like all right it's oh and next week is october so we're getting that new sh- shipment of pumpkins or something <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> can you put pumpkins in your juice well i'm using it as an oh, example okay, of okay. like a food that oh. you need offhand i don't know no i feel you like like October and no, pumpkin I feel that. spice. I, feel that. I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of food, this is officially my one year of being. Well, okay, so I tried to be vegan. I was like, I'm gonna do it, and I did it. I think for like six months, um, maybe even a little bit longer, and then I kind of started realizing, eh, I'm gonna try like cheese every once in a while, maybe. Um, and if I accidentally, you know, you'd pick up something and it's in there and you're like, okay, I didn't really know cheese was in here, but it's not the main ingredient. I'll have it. Um, so that kind of broke it. But then, you know, when I was eating out, sometimes you're with friends or family, whatever, no, but to be there's honest, fish tacos. I'm like, oh, I love that. No, but I think that's, I don't know, I think that's the best kind of like way to live. I used to, as a kid, feel like everything was black and white. You know, you either are this or you're that you know mm-hmm. like um so when i was vegan i like was so serious like i can't have anything. you got so skinny it was scary yeah but like i was like um, like i really like enjoyed that like it was but really, you were also running like eight miles a day yeah but think about this i was never i was never in shape like for my whole entire life just That's like true. i was always chubby so for the first time in my life I dedicated myself to that and it was progress and so like I lost so much weight but for me like it was so new to me which made me like I don't know like it's weird you know you you have your whole life and like knowing like feeling a certain way and now like for the first time in your life like you're like whoa I don't know sorry 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 (laughs) but like (laughs) Yeah, I, I gotta stop saying, like, I don't know. It's a weird feeling. No, I um, bet. And it's, like, probably really hard to, like you said, your whole life you felt like you were chubby or you were chubby, and then you stop it, and then it's kind of like a road where you don't know kind of how to balance that. Yeah. And you just kind of, like, gun ho so hard, and you go so hard for it that it's really hard to shut it off. So if you, and that's what I was really afraid of, I was like, okay, if I migrate a little bit into like cheese um or eggs i'm i'm gonna be able to go right back to meat and i was so afraid of myself and my mindset and where i um like what i was kind of dedicated to i guess and how far i could go and but then when i started trying things that might have like egg in it i'm like oh well like i it's okay like i can still stay my course and that's what i've been so proud of because it's really hard with Oreo now that he's eating meat and I'm like touching it every day and I'm just like, ewee, like like a brat. But it's just, it, it's nice to feel that way, to be able to have that opportunity to be around it. And because everybody in the house eats meat, I'm the only one that doesn't, um, but, and just be okay with it. Yeah. No, no, yeah, and I, I like that because I think that's how like, 
lifestyles are formed, right? Because mm-hmm. when you go to the gym, you don't go to the gym every day, all day, like like for like four, two hours a day, even an hour a day, maybe an hour a day. But, but there will be days where you're just like not going to go for two days, you know, and all right, you know, so, but the cool thing is, is that like you don't not, go for that one day and be like oh it's over you know like i haven't gone yeah. for two days i can't go anymore like i i lost my rhythm yeah and whatever and so that's kind of like how i used to feel like with being yeah. vegan but it's like you're all in or nothing yeah and so like you said it's good to have days where you don't want or you know if there's egg in it or something yeah or if you want and just cheese, to be okay with it yeah and like, once, like beat yourself up yeah and just say i guess all right because the majority of your life mm-hmm. is vegan and plants and like yeah. you know greens yeah and that's i think that's the most important right because i was i was actually watching something last earlier today about nba players and like this month has been the first month out of the whole like season that they've like NBA superstars like LeBron James and um, Steph and Steph Curry, like they scored 50, 50 points, mm-hmm. like these crazy high scores. And it's never like been seen in such a short amount of time mm-hmm. since like such a long time ago or like the accumulation of a few years so i was trying to make a point (laughs) but i are talking about food whether they change their diet or something oh yeah yeah yeah. sorry sorry (laughs) so so the interesting thing is like when superstars so my point is is that when superstars take 50 shots Mm -hmm. their statistics are the same if they take like 30 shots i think compared to how successful their team is because when a superstar is only taking shots and only pretty much making the points for the team Mm -hmm. it does not do good for chemistry and team morale and that won't push you into the postseason and that won't get win you championships so you have to share it because as every player they want to win championships but players love when they beat personal records right like the most shots like 60 shots that's like a personal best for that record but I think it's safe to say that most NBA players would rather win championships, which is interesting because it just means that on any given day, like Kevin Durant or um, Stephen Curry can literally just like win the game for the team if and they be wanted okay to. That. No, and the other team can stop it. Right. But the problem is, is that, like I said, you just don't, you won't go very far. Wait, but if, what does this have to do with food? Oh, um, just as compared to sixty percent of the time shooting or 40 percent of the time the shots that made per missed yeah don't change that much whether oh. you make 60 points or whether you shoot 30 points you know what i mean it's, it's a little confusing but all i'm trying to say is that it's like you could be vegan 100 mm-hmm. percent, and the healthiness in your body is like 85 mm-hmm. and you could be vegan for 80 percent of mm-hmm. your of the time and your vegan lifestyle health would be like 78%. Like it would barely drop. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Instead yeah. of like missing one vegan day. It's oh, like, oh, yeah. I'm not vegan anymore. Oh, yeah. Your body won't know. And your the health level will still be as high as yeah. if you were vegan all like 24-7. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So the average works it in like that. So Yeah. And it's, it's funny being... <laughs> I don't even like that word anymore, like vegan, because obviously a lot of people are so like, what? Did, what? No, I was just saying, did you get what I was saying? I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, can I explain it to yeah, you? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What I think is that you're saying that like, well, I just had like a really bad like, never mind. My mind is like in the gutter right now. Um, I can't even say it. My future self would be like, I can't believe you said that. All right, okay, okay, okay. Um, let me try to find like a PG um i have to tell you afterwards it's so funny okay i think what you're trying to say is that like um so like uh an easier way is like a cheating on your diet right like every single day you have like eggs and vegetables and or i mean chicken vegetables and rice right that's what you have like 
five meals a day because you're trying to bulk. Well, on like your second day or third day, you slipped in a like one kind of brownie. That's not going to throw off your whole diet. Yeah, like maybe you have to work an extra like half hour possibly, but you're not going to go like oh get morbidly morbidly obese just because you threw in an extra brownie. And I think that kind of is just all about balance to an extent. How you were describing it with like the NBA? No, that, I guess that kind of lost me a little bit. Yeah, but. maybe I have a better example. Yeah. Like if me and you were vegan 100% mm-hmm. of the time. Mm-hmm. And I had eggs like once every two weeks, right? Yeah. Or, or it's not once mess a up week. Your statistic of your health. Well, we like maybe I'll drop like a point compared like, to me. Yeah, right. and that's the important thing, right? Oh, uh, I see. You know, it's just a point. <clears throat> like it's mm-hmm. it's not even a noticeable difference, and I, I barely think that it would increase the outcome of your productivity and your yeah. sustainability for your life. Yeah. In the long term, so I guess it's a good thing knowing that like. You don't have to be all 100% yeah. and not get any less benefit mm-hmm. of being 100%. Yeah, it, that's true. It just it was really funny because um, Friday night I went out with a bunch of friends and I was riding my bike home. And like I was like, hey, Siri, can you text Sam? Yeah, Sam's over here. Just Sorry, I did not away. realize that was so loud. <laughs> um, I was like, hey, Siri, can you text Sam? Hey, uh, do you think you could make me an egg and cheese sandwich, please? <laughs> yeah. And then it repeats it back to me, and it's like, are you ready to send? And I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> and it was beautiful. Like, I loved coming home to, like, an egg I and cheese sandwich. I made it. I was mad tight because I'm like, yo, we have no tinfoil. Oh, I wanted to yeah. wrap it like tinfoil. I was like, all right, well, this towel. Like, you just this, ordered it for this me? This towel will do. Like it the, was good. Like napkin. And it was funny because you had ordered pizza from you and Maya, or for Maya, and um, there was... What are those things called that I love? The tin foil. No, no, no. The, oh, the garlic knots. The garlic knots were right next to it. I was like, what is this? It was yeah. so good. I was I was surprised because like, my mom said she wanted it. I'm like, oh, there they go. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, meaning that, like, um, I ordered them for, oh. like, you and her. But, but for some reason, she hadn't come in. Oh. And so when she came in, she saw... I was, she saw the garlic knot. She said, can I have a garlic knot? And I'm thinking, well, she's probably going to eat all of them now. Oh, So okay. I was like, I'm not going to tell her not to. Yeah, but yeah. But I was like, whatever. Because I wouldn't have known. Yeah, so I was, like, I was like, all right, whatever. Like, we'll see what happens. So then when I went in, there was, there was three there still. I was like, all right, bet. And so I, like, Just closed wrapped them it. Up. Yeah. I was like, what is this? Yeah. It was such a good surprise. Yeah. It's the best coming home to food. You want me to take that from you? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's I, like you forget. It's yeah, hilarious. You're like, ah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Um. But I think it's funny um, how many times I've been kind of like ridiculed about being vegan and like, does that mean you don't wear any kind of products that have leather or cow or owl? It's just like an interesting situation, how serious people are and how like just people flow with it, I guess. And it was yeah. funny because the other day I was making a juice and somebody had come up to me. I, it's like funny, like talking about other people, but not saying their name. Somebody had come up to me and was just saying like, oh, why are you, I, are you afraid to get fat? And I was like, no. Like, why do you, are you still on your diet? I was like, no, I'm not on a, I'm not on a diet. Like I was never on a diet. I just want to eat healthy. And they're like, but I don't get it. You're so skinny. And I was like, but. I don't think people understand like the difference between like you can be super skinny but super unhealthy yeah. like and it's a mental thing too like I think the only reason I've been able to wake up every morning around like 4 or 4.30 is because of how we're eating there's no way yeah no I I definitely feel that like I was just thinking about my diet and although I do have meat sometimes I think it's about what makes you feel good, too. Mm-hmm. And I think for me, um, sometimes I think genuinely it's for my my brain. Sometimes, I maybe as a male, I don't know, like, when I get the taste of, like, fish or something in I thought oil. you were going to say, like, something with blood in its veins. No, no, like, I'm more of a seafood kind of person. Yeah. 
I mean, I do dabble with like a Chick Fil A once, once in a blue moon, but that's for like nostalgia reasons. Every I don't Friday, know. just kidding. No, not every Friday, <laughs> but but on a majority, I really stay away from meat. Like it's really funny when it's Sunday and you have a giant craving for Chick Fil A. Yeah, then like you a remember. random Sunday, and I'm like, oh, it's closed. <laughs> How I forget? I don't it, know. It happens often. You know. <laughs> I guess I have good memories from like, I don't know, from going to the Great Wolf Lodge. Yeah, and that having was, that Chick Fil A really that good. that night. That was really dope. So why do while I feel we're like we the, were like, sick? Sam, that's when COVID was around, and we were like oh, horrified. Was it I not feeling well? No, she no. Was you fine. know what it was? I think I was just really tired when I was eating it, and I was just oh, feeling we so were, sick. We had I was dro- so tired. I was we like, drove oh all the God. way out there. We were up the night before, and the oh, night before that, really God. late. It was just a like a last minute kind of thing. Yeah, but, how far? Um, that was far, right? That, maybe that was like a few four, hours. two hours. Jeez. Two hours. Jeez, it was snowing. That was really cool. I don't know. We had, oh yeah, we left Laka here. But I was, I was not happy I was about that. Very. It was like a, just a one night thing. I know, but I was like, dude, I don't. I'm not used to that. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I was good. so concerned. He but was good. It was all good. Yeah. Um. Shoot, what was I gonna? Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say about um. It's funny because I think we have so many memories. Like in general, you know, food is a really big staple. I feel like in our life and probably a lot of other people's lives, you know, when people go out, like trying new restaurants or new bars or whatever the case is. But I think that um, for us, food was such a crazy thing when COVID happened. Yeah. You know, we were ordering every single night and it wasn't just like, oh, like, let's just get a salad. No, it was hardcore like burgers, steak. Like it was just (laughs) ridiculous. We were eating our feelings so hard. Oh, yeah. But the thing was, like, at first we were afraid about it. Like, what's happening? And we like jumped out of bed and like ran to CVS to grab all the canned goods. That was my like one of my favorite times. I know. (laughs) Because um, because all I would do was just like run ridiculous miles yeah. i would get home i would say yo what are we ordering <laughs> yo five napkin we would order five napkin and i would smoke the, the biggest <laughs> and then i would chill and enjoy like eating with you guys and, yeah like, it was like really cool and then you just repeat it over again just me you and your mom just chilling every night yeah just, just and you know so much <sighs> that was you know, obviously, then we got to the point where we're like, yo, I can't, we can't do this I don't anymore. know how long yo, I can do no, this. No, that was really scary. Well, I think it was really cool that we did it so much. <laughs> I was just like, I don't really want them for good tonight, I think. Yeah, but then we transitioned to steak, Sam. No way. Sam, don't you remember we oh. had those steak, that bowl with oh, you yeah, could the, pick the, all the different the kinds barbecue, of steak? Barbecue. It's Korean barbecue place and you get oh, to pick the different kinds of steak you wanted. That was and... disgusting. No, no, that was that was amazing. That was amazing. That was Whenever I think of about I really that's love the white rice. only meal I would <laughs> eat white rice. I know. <laughs> because I love it so much. It's I funny. would always eat the rest of your white rice. I know. I would eat my whole meal and your white rice. Oh, man. Remember when I OD'd and I got like the meat and the, and the white rice, and I got like dumplings and like something like else. Calamari You're like, something. what did you get, Sam? And I'm like, I but then know. I got jealous, and so the next time I got the same thing, like, but oh, yeah. not the same, like, like calamari. I didn't get that, but I got like these spicy chicken things. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. oh my, they were deep, they're fried. Ah, they were, oh, they man, were, so good. they were intense. That actually is kind of like kick, kicked off why I decided Yo, to like start eating so much better. Oh, <laughs> yo! I would have a slice of cake. So, every if anybody's night. seen the show Cake Boss, um, it's Carlos's Bakery. There's one in New York City. Uh, and I don't it's even know Times if there Square. is one anymore. Is there? No, it's there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh man, you you want me to look? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's still there. I don't know why we call it Carlitos, um, but Sam just randomly started calling it Carlitos, and people were like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, because I, I I guess it just reminds me of like, because Carlo isn't he like Italian? Yeah. And like, there's this movie called Carlitos Way. Really? Yeah. Oh. And it was kind. Of, it was with Al Pacino, and I don't know. He just Al Pacino reminds me of like kind of like a Italian mobster or something. Mm. Yeah, so it's still I was, open. Oh, nice. The okay. one on Eighth Ave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So like whenever I think of like that, I'm just like Carlitos, and it's catchier. Carlitos. It is. Catchier. Carlos is like for some reason it makes it gives me more energy. It expends more energy saying that Carlos. I like Carlitos. Yeah. Because you know what, Car Lowe's Lowe's. That's what it is. Lowe's is like more energy expense oh expenditure God. than Carlitos. Okay, like syllables. Carlos. Carlitos. But I don't say it like Carlitos. I say it. Carlitos. Carlitos. <laughs> so therefore, it's like a roll, you know? What is what a New Yorker saying? I don't know. No, with the bagel. Ba- bagel? No, no, no. They like say how they order the bagels. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah, one whole Let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. You so know, intimidating. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah, I don't know. Like my, I don't. I remember before COVID when we would order food, I would be so horrified to go to the door. Remember, I never oh, wanted yeah. to go answer the doors. I you was just so run. freaked out. I was like, no, no, no. I, I can't was like, do it. what's I can't wrong? Do it. The door. No. But then it was kind of nice because, in not nice, I'm not saying COVID was nice, not. I'm just saying, like, this situation when they would just drop it on the door and then take a picture and then knock and then they would run away and then yeah. you'd wait like three minutes and you'd sanitize everything. I was so scared. Yeah. That was crazy. I'm glad we kind of got that phase out of us for the most part of just like, eating crazy amounts Yo, of food i'm happy is this making you hungry just no, curious me neither I, I ate a lot i ate a lot i just had like three bowls of lucky charms it's, yeah i had like two egg sandwiches really and two cupcakes oh <gasps> which, which cupcake um the chocolate one and the carrot cake did you like the carrot cake i i'm you not a didn't. fan I, you know what you know what's interesting i like carrot cake with actual like carrot the shredded the it. shredded chunky one with the, that's like, a clean carrot cake yeah, you know I, I don't like clean carrot cakes like. you like the carrot cake that um it's, it's like, like homemade you know like just straight up a, like a what's carrot. that bakery yeah that's why i like that place yeah. is carrot cake that's why i always ask for the carrot cake from there yeah and like i genuinely i enjoy the vegan carrot cake frosting better than, than regular the regular one it's too the regular one has too, too much rich. of a like a, a um a, a dairy like mm. tart it's tart that's what it is mm. that dairy tart aftertaste mm. you know that's what kind of that like that like kind you want to brush your teeth kind of yeah it's like a very dairy yeah. like tart Stuck. aftertaste yeah like whew. it's sweet <laughs> but it's like milky-ish you know the with the with the peace food one yeah. i don't i don't feel that it's just like very smooth and it doesn't have an aftertaste like that so it's like all the good but none of the bad yeah wait and you I don't had mind two it. egg sandwiches yeah shit on hala yeah oh my god because i was like i i made one and then i'm but you then, didn't even have lunch today yeah i had a, i had um a smoothie i had a smoothie an egg sandwich a smoothie and then two egg sandwiches but i had the smoothie before i went to the gym Remember, I made the smoothie, and then I did a few more oh, yeah. like things, and then I went, and then I came back. Oh, oh! Dear. You did not have four egg sandwiches today. No, I had. Did I? Yo, I had three smoothies today. Yeah. Oh, is that why you bought more fruit? Well, yeah, because I'm gonna be I, honest with you. Howard today was literally the craziest. Like, so you brought in these groceries today that you had ordered off Whole Foods online, and I was like, "Damn, like you have a lot of groceries." Because I just, I made two orders this week because I just kept running out of things, and like I'm lazy as hell. Like, judge me all you want. I also went to Trader Joe's, so that's the problem. I mean, but it's all food. I'm eating it all. Like, I'm not letting it go to waste. No, yeah. But anyways, it just sounds like embarrassing being like, I. Oh, went to the grocery store three times but any time i spent like a hundred bucks at least i'm eating it a hundred bucks is so much better than thirty dollars a meal that's true that's what we were pulling in if you were to genuinely get three meals a day that's pretty much like a hundred dollars that's ninety dollars Including like tips and ninety dollars, and not everything was thirty. Th- some of them were like thirty two, or like or thirty four with like everything totaled, you know. Yeah, I was just doing taxes and looking at the amount of money. So we were you're talking about food. for three days? That's three hundred dollars yeah. on average. Yeah. You you spending 
three three hundred dollars safe like max like at I groceries mean, it's th- still that was a big it was a big week but but it's still like nothing because you're still missing four more days well and i'm not gonna have to go probably next week too that's yeah. the thing because i just kept like running out of smaller things but then like then my ran out of chicken nuggets and then we needed to get mac and cheese and it's kind of like these little things on the side um and yeah, still trying to figure out like the, the balance between like how many yeah. kinds of berries I can have. And the cool thing is, is that, yeah, like for for me, I can eat one meal, like two meals, like mm. forever, I just know. transition. And then, but but the problem is, is that one day I'll say, I don't want this anymore. But then you'll just and find I'll, something else. But then, but then it's consistent. So yeah. the cool thing with with that is, is that I can buy like if and really wanted to just like four things. Like my necessities in life is my protein, my my um, bananas, frozen fruit, and um, either uh, eggs. I'm in my egg phase right now. Yeah. Or salmon. I was in my salmon phase. Yeah, for a while. And. Yeah, Everything I don't even know what's next. Hala. Yeah. Oh yeah, hala. Cream cheese. And cream cheese. And like but those are special occasions, right? Mm-hmm. Because all week I didn't touch the the bagels, unfortunately, yeah. which is something I'm have to learn. Like and figure out better how how I'm gonna figure that out. Like in which it. days you're gonna have what kind of Yeah, because yeah. right now it's a little chaotic only because I'm not focused on prioritizing the food that we order i'm just focusing on not ordering well that's kind of like i think the next step yeah we've been doing so good at like prioritizing all these things and then the next week we're able to add a few more things and going back to the groceries today was just like really funny i was like damn we're getting we got more groceries and then you're like yeah i ordered groceries i've never seen you in (laughs) your life come home with groceries not once not once so i was so taken back i was like but i didn't i didn't go there I know, but it was like kind of hot. I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, who is he?" Also, because you've been like stepping up lately too, which yeah. I appreciate. Because it's been, it's been hard doing all of this stuff. But then you're like cleaning and cooking. Like you made everybody like a j- tacos, like homemade yeah. tacos. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "You're like, yo," and I'm like, "Yo." And then you're like, <laughs> yo. And then I'm like, listen to me. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. I. It's hard. No, I, I feel it. No, I, I understand. And I guess the, like people are probably like, what the fuck are they talking about? I um have just a hard time like feeling like I... I'm very like pressured to do things, but I'm the one who pressures myself to do a lot of things. Nobody has ever been like, you need to do this. You need to do that. I just take on all these roles for no reason. And then I get overwhelmed and then I lash out and I'm like, why aren't you doing this? And like, but I'm not asking for help in any kind of proper way that I should be. And it's been nice to like, I've been going to therapy every single Wednesday and it's nice to like talk things out before they escalate to something and kind of like, figure out how you might say something or like just getting somebody else's perspective it's still so weird to me like I still don't know how I'm supposed to like feel and it was funny because last Wednesday or I think that's when it was I was in therapy and it was funny because I didn't even let her talk like I was just like this is what happened last week and like it was just so awkward because I just was like it's not your friend it's like somebody you're supposed to talk to I'm still so weirded out doesn't it like isn't it have you noticed sometimes after you talk, you feel better? Like you're I like, do feel better uh, because a lot okay. of this stuff I don't talk to. Like, so it's weird. Like now that I'm in New York City for the past five years, like I I talk to my mom pretty much on a daily basis, like multiple times a day sometimes. But sometimes I just need somebody to genuinely drop everything and pay attention to me. Like nothing. Don't look at your phone. Don't like. Don't talk to the doc. Don't talk to my dad. It's just I want a hundred percent focus, and that's what this person gives me, and I, think, and I love that. But I think also too, it's not only it's just that hundred percent focus, but being able to talk to somebody who's not related, who's not involved in the things that you're talking about. But it's also really hard for me to be myself and not feel like I have to make myself look good. So that's like my next phase is being vulnerable. Although, like one day, like a few weeks ago, 
like she had come on with this is like all through facetime she had come on and like i was already pre-balling my eyes out before i talked to her so it was just like i was curious that i was like i wonder when i'm ever gonna cry in front of her and then yeah i just i was like two minutes late i was having a bad day and she's like oh my god what's wrong and i was like rah, 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 rah. like it was a mess but it was nice though because I was afraid to cry in front of her. I was like, yo, this is going to be so embarrassing when I cry in front of her, some random ass girl. Like, but it was really nice because she did, she wasn't like anything. Um, but I guess my point is like, I'm having a hard time being like vulnerable in other ways. And it's like when you're talking to an example is like when you have your first fight with like a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you're trying to talk to your mom or your dad or somebody close to you about it but you're not trying to make them look bad because like it's a new thing and you're like this is what happened but you're still trying to like show your side and that's what I'm having a hard time with is like just being completely vulnerable and um and and like talking about my like mistakes too which is like hard without pre-justifying myself um, for, I did this because this, and it's, it's like uncomfortable, but I'm still getting used to it. Yeah. Yeah. It is an interesting, like time. I feel like I always, I always cry when I had therapy. Really? Yeah. Every time I would cry. Cause well, maybe I was just, I don't know. But you've I been in like, therapy. I feel like a lot longer. No. Well, I think yes, but also like just so many things have happened like in my life, like over you know mm-hmm. for the last seven years. But I know? also feel like you don't talk about it. Like when things bother you, you don't really bottle them up and and like lash out kind of like I do in just stupid ways. You like just take it all in and then you just swallow it like like that TV show. Just just shove it under the rug. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I, I feel like I, I do. I, I I get frustrated and I get upset. And then I just, like, I get sad. <laughs> and that's just, like... Well, you don't ever really show you're sad too much anymore when sometimes I know you are. But it's nice when you do have therapy because then, like, it feels kind of like you're a little bit refreshed. Like, you know, when a screen is, like, loading a lot, loading a lot, and you just press the refresh button. Yeah. So it's nice yeah it's um yeah it's weird like um i don't know (laughs) like how people handle um just hard times in their life you know like just not hard times but well yeah hard Mm -hmm. times but like hard emotions you know to handle you know with those hard times and yeah, I don't know. I feel like there was a time in my life where I was very, um, I mean, I, I guess like, you know, I struggle with this from time to time, but you know, I, I, like I said, like I lash out, you know, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm upset. So I want to make somebody else upset. Mm-hmm. And now I feel like I'm more like I'm upset. Like, I'm sorry if I am acting like this, but I'm just like really upset. Like, letting somebody know somehow, like, yeah. so, like, they understand, like... Where this is kind of yeah, coming like, from, like, or... Like, say, like, maybe, like, I'll lash out you, like, kind of a little bit unintentionally, and I'm just like, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, like, I just... But I'm the just, like, funny thing right is, now. like, usually like, when you, la- like, your version of lashing out is, like, <laughs> um, I won't put my bowl away from the night before or something, and you kind of woke up on the, like, wrong, like, side of the bed or something, and you'll just be like, can you just put this bowl away? But it's like not mean, <laughs> but like there's just a subtle tone. But I'm, and then, but because you don't really lash out in general, I'm just like, oh my god. But then I like do it right away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're like, what happened? Yeah. Like, kind of like yo, like but back up, I'm like yo, like <laughs> please, not now. <laughs> like, but I'll say the thing after that. I'm just no, like, you let no, it do you be. think you just maybe just put. If but that's that, okay. like, you're like, so no, no, subtle like, about if that, it. If that's okay with you, yeah. can you please put it back <laughs> after you're like, what? <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> like, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway. No, it's, it's funny. It's just nice. I mean, there's a big... It's cool because I, I love 
this time that we're living in right now to be able to see like this transition to be able to see like the transition in how we're spending our money and how we're eating and how we're spending our time and how we're developing all of these things all of our goals um being there a lot more for maya it's these little things i feel like that we're seeing this like entire wheel turn in a different way it's never turned before and i really like that because you know i know it's not good to always compare but compared to when i first got to new york city and how like depressed you were and like how yeah. times are really 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 hard and i didn't know i knew we'd be able to get through but i didn't know like it, it's a it's a very unknown variable and it's very scary and i think that it's just nice to be able to look and say like wow and pretty far hey look it's like it's our second week in a row of a podcast yeah you know those things like that and yeah a lot of other consistencies too um what i was i was thinking about something i forget what i was thinking with maya no um well no kind of not really but i like how we were playing board games a lot that's how that's what i like to do when i was a kid so it's cute hush like let's play Candyland. like oh Yeah. yeah Yeah, I wonder. I kind of want to play Mario Mario Party. But I was like, I I kind of like threw it out there a little. Oh, today. Yeah, and she's like, didn't bite. It's I'm like, hard because she's a little bit younger, and I think Mario Party is a little bit more I mean, difficult because it has different directions each time, and you I have to be it. skilled with it. I was I was playing it with like my friends. Really? Yeah, Mario Party. It was it was tough. I think it would totally be different though if she was with her friends. She wouldn't lash out like she does. She gets oh, tight you know because why? it's like we we because win and she better. doesn't like it. We're better. Yeah. And she can never be ever. Yeah, with kids like my, when I now make sense right because mm-hmm. I play with kids my skill level. Mm-hmm. So everyone was like on the same bar for the most part. Yeah. So it was like a much easier time to compete here. She's like competing with like people that have been doing this for a lot longer, like yeah. way longer. I would hate that. And the I thing think- is, think about this: like Maya's still learning how to read, so for us, we're looking at the we're looking at the corner, you know, in the cor- on the right hand side, it like tells you what to do: press up to jump, press this to do this, whatever mm-hmm. the case is. Oh yeah, she and can't she do can't it. read, so she's already uh, like we're already <laughs> doing it, and then we're trying to explain it to her while we're already doing it, and so she's already behind before yeah. she even starts. So I think that's really hard to. Yeah, well, she'll um, she'll catch up, and she'll like me friends too. Yeah, and then that's, she'll get. That's to, part like, of the reason why I got those those extra ones, just in case, yeah. you know. Like I don't know, I want like I was always that kid who had like four controllers, just in case, just in case. Yeah, I didn't have any siblings, but I had four controllers. <laughs> <laughs> just, I was literally like a little kid, twelve year old me, just in case. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, literally going to the GameStop just in case. Like, I'm going to need this game just in case. Done. But, yeah. No, it's good. That was, oh, man. I need, I I want to download, get those tapes re-recorded. Like you should really find them because, like, I know they're in the closet. All right, I will. But the, I'm just worried. I don't want them to get damaged my, or anything. My little kid voice is on there. I want to hear what I used to sound Sam like. Sam used to have a camcorder and... He would be with his friends. And Yo, just we would like just record. wrestle. We would record. We would like rollerblade. We would like skateboard. We would like make skate tapes and stuff. It was crazy. Like, it was like, man, I love that time. Everybody's like, barely talks to anybody, if anything. And but I, I really love that time. That what was are you talking t- about? Barely talks to anybody, if anything. Well, the you know the people who like were in the friend group. Yeah. They they won none of them none of us like live near each other anymore. Oh, okay. And like like now. I thought you were yeah. talking about in the clips. I was like No, 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 no. No, like like now. Like yeah. just knowing like how close we were. Yeah. Just, you know, see like, you know, life takes you in different directions. Yeah. That's all good. Um, but like literally like how close like we were like every day we just like just like sleep over and like you know like it was and the fun. biggest thing you had to worry like, about order mcdonald's like was that was the biggest that. thing <laughs> how much money we got yes. like we need to like make sure everybody eats and yeah but, oh man that was so fun like stay all night play video games 
like literally on Fridays. Oh man, like when winter break or like spring break happened, I would feel so freaking excited because I'd go home and I would literally like call my friend and I was so happy <laughs> that my friend didn't have like the like the dial, to, like they couldn't see the numbers. <laughs> so I randomly just call like, they didn't like, have the caller ID. Yeah, because so that means that it wouldn't say like who, how many times, times the person called. called, because like they weren't home, like from school. So I just call. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, like kind of how like Maya is with her friend right now. Yeah, yeah, but unfortunately, it'll show how many times they called. <laughs> That's true. But like, but that only lasted like a little time in terms of like when they call ID. So I'm like, all right, well, like you know. Let me just wait 15 minutes I would, instead of one. I literally would wait until like, um, like, I don't know. I just, I just remember times just waiting until they got home. Like in my house, just like, come on, call me. And then when we got our own cell phones, it was done. It was done. Can I smell something? Yeah. Yo, I have a great nose. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> But anyways, yeah. I'm excited was... for you to find those and to get them all digitalized. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Converted to Because like, I can't DVDs. play it. I can't like play it at all. Um, when I do that, oh man, when I, when I do that, I'm going to order McDonald's. And just sit back. Because that's like the meal. Like yeah. high C, I'm a whore, I see orange. I might get the zero, I might get a zero high C somewhere at a supermarket and then put it in the McDonald's cup. So it's like. <laughs> You know, kind of you're drinking it. Yeah. And then, um, because I was never a Coke person when I was a kid. I would never order Coke or anything fizzy. Yeah. It was juice. I was a juice guy. Like, I loved the high C orange. I loved the Powerade. Yeah. I was all about that. Um, I hate, I actually genuinely hated soda when I was little. I did not like the bubbles. It Mm. was so annoying because I just wanted to chug a juice right after I I ate. It was soda. Like, okay. Oh, that was fizzy. Yeah. And you have to stop, and, and it's burp. just like annoying. But I feel that. Yeah. But Anyways. I think I'm kind of getting hungry. Yeah, I think it's about that time. Um. Yeah, I gotta wrap this up real quick. Push it out. Yeah. Tomorrow is Monday. Time to do it all over again. Mm-hmm. But it's like crazy. It's like I have no idea how I'm gonna get this done like the things i need to do for like the week and just the goals i know you didn't work on your thing tonight i was like oh jesus it's all right um like i said right i don't know how i'm gonna get these things done but i'm gonna do it Mm -hmm. and it's gonna get done Mm -hmm. i don't know how but it's gonna get done it always does yeah so anyways just with that in mind let me stop thinking about this this i'm gonna get get anxious (laughs) yeah yeah, no no i'm gonna rest i'm gonna rest easy tonight and i'm gonna work hard tomorrow yeah yeah all we can do yeah all right anyways guys thanks for hanging with us oh my god sam you were on mute this whole time no yeah you're lucky i don't believe you (laughs) (laughs) um okay all right guys well you guys have a good night and uh we'll see you next week peace bye